Hey guys, so this is a blank palette and I know I haven't been doing any tutorials lately so today is the day. I'm gonna be doing my look from uh, my video blog that I posted and it's my first video blog so yay! And um, this look is from my senior night dinner and I did this probably in 20 minutes the other night on um, I'm just recreating the look for you and showing you how I did it. I really like it and I find it very simple to do. Um, it didn't take a lot of thinking or anything. It was just like throwing certain colors that I feel might work together on a whim. So if you guys like this look, please continue watching and I will show you how to do it. And also if you want to see pictures from my senior night dinner, just keep watching and I'll post a couple pictures there. But if you want to see the rest, go to my blog and I'll post um, most of the pictures there for you to see. So um, I guess I will see you in a bit if you want to see this look. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply Urban Decay Primer Potion. Top lid and also the bottom. So for this video I'm going to be using the Naked Palette by Urban Decay and I didn't realize this until a viewer told me that in my palette the color Hustle and Toasted, it's the two purple color. They're really switched, so the Hustle is the um, really the darker color, the darker purple, and Toasted is really the um, lighter purple. So I didn't realize that until now, so if you watch my other videos and you're getting confused, I really apologize for it, and um, just remember to uh, correct yourself when you're using the palette. The first thing I did was apply the color Smog right here. Ooh gently and I'm not gonna go too far up just a little above my crease for this look blending brush just blend that out and do so with the other side a um, lighter color like virgin and just highlight my uh, brow bone with it like so the next thing we're going to be doing is applying the color dark horse right here and this is going to be the second darkest color that I'm going to be using apply it to the outer crease right here and what I do is I take it from the outside and then I pull it in and pull it back out just like that. What I do when I reach the edge, I just pull it out a little bit so you don't really get a sharp line and it just blends out a little bit more naturally. I'm just going to take a angle contour brush and just blend it in to each other and I'm going to repeat the same step with the other side. Start right here in the outer crease and just pull it up and down. What I also did was apply the color creep right here to darken the look even more. And just take that color and apply right here and just pull it up and blend it in a little bit. Just a little bit, not too much of it. Just do the same with the other side. This last step is optional, but for my senior dinner look, I did do this. It did brighten my eye a little bit more. And um, what I did was apply the color Sycar to the inner half of my eyes. But if you want to keep with this look just as it is, and it's a little darker and a more gold tone, just taking that and applying it right here. Be careful. I know that um, the shimmery colors in the Naked Palette tends to have a lot of fallout. So what you want to do is tap and pat the color down. This right here. Oh. I wonder if you can hear that airplane. I live by an airport, so I always hear airplanes coming across. So right here. Just blend it out to the top. Hmm. I'm going to be using the color Toasted and Dark Horse on the bottom right here. You can't tell. So taking that and just blending them together. Just apply it to the bottom of your the bottom waterline, I guess. So 
For the inner half, I'm going to be using Smog and Sycar just like the top, and I'm going to be blending them sort of together to create a, um, I guess, color sort of in the middle. Applying it right here. Taking the virgin color again. So the last step will be eyelining your eyes. I tend to go for a black eyeliner, starting to tight line it, and then and then just do a wing, just wing it out. I'm just gonna water, just eyeline the waterline right here. So I know for a lot of people they apply eyeshadow over their pencil eyeliner just so it can last longer and to prevent it from smudging. But for me it does not work very well because I have Asian eyes and um, it tends to crease and the, well the eyeliner tends to just um, transfer a lot easier and it doesn't stay put as well with eyeshadow. So for me I use liquid eyeliner. Take that and just apply it right there. So for this look, it's very dark, so what you want to do is fill in your eyebrows, and I'm just going to be using Dark Horse to do that. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, since I have such short eyelashes, I'm just going to be applying fake eyelashes, and these are Model 21 again. For my lips now, um, while my the glue dries on my eyelashes, just apply. Uh, I'm using the Stack Silk and Shine uh, lip protectant or chapstick. Just apply it over my lips, just to prep them. So I'm just gonna be using a darker pink color for this, even though I'm doing a nude lip. Um, I like the look of it last night because I had a black dress, so it made my lips pop a little bit more. Just taking this and applying it here. The reason why you want to apply lip liner before you apply your lipstick is because it just gives it a more even look and it lasts longer too. So lip liner is just enough for um, lining your lips. I think I like to use it all over it really does help it last longer and maintain a smoother look. Um, I know some lipsticks, like the one that I'm using is the Revlon um, Soft Nude Color, and it tends to actually just like absorb into the cracks of my lips, so this is going to help prevent that. And it's just going to prevent your lipstick from looking chapped. Now I'm taking lipstick of your choice. I'm using Revlon Soft Nude once again. Where it's just not too nude or not too red. Okay, so that's for it for the lips. And now I'm going to go back with the mascara and just blend in my fake eyelashes with the falsies. Just to give my face a little bit more definition and color, I'm going to be using the ELF Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. And what I like to do with these two is just blend them together. Um, just use them as both. Just right here. Blend it up. This So this is the finished look, 
And just show you guys right there. So.